I hate dance music, I hate chart music and everything. But again, I'm stood outside, I can't really hear it that much, so that's better for me. People always say, it's Nile, but I've got, well, apparently very sarcastic <laughs> sense of humour, that's what everyone says. I think you develop that sort of sense of humour through dealing with people when you're getting abused all night. All you can do is turn back the like sarcasm on people, that's all you've got. <laughs> Dorman, although it's 2017, still have a, a thug image, which is totally wrong. They're there to protect the customers, they're there to protect staff, they're there to help the police. The doormen know that, just no one else sees it. There's always potential for danger. They get hurt and there's nobody there for them. It's a thankless job. I've worked with lads on the door that have only been doing it for three weeks. They've got this, they've got no, no they haven't been drained. They're not qualified, you don't know what they're doing. I've been a head doorman, you see people that come in and they're, they're nervous, young lads, and they've done the little SIA course, but now they're dealing with the public and the confrontation, and when it's real, it's. It's not nice for people. You can't just say it to somebody who's going to be in charge of sometimes 500 people, especially when booze is involved and you kind of just say, right, there's a few days training and now go out and do it. You know, it's got to be bigger than that. I worked on the doors years ago, started a security company and just years of having no support, seeing the doorman struggle, struggle myself. And I just thought it was about time someone done something. The SPSC intends to provide security for security. We need to give the doorman the qualifications and we need them to be proud of the qualifications and do the job to sign up for and that's what it's all about. So taking people off the door, upskilling doorman like yourself, people that have been working a long time. We have legal, criminal solicitors, civil solicitors, we we'll have health insurance. Nobody really wants to insure a doorman because obviously it's a risky job. If we've got no insurance to become getting bottled and getting glassed and stuff like that isn't it's not worth the pain or. We've thought about it long and hard about what we would need, what I would like to see if I was a doorman now, knowing the struggles they have. Us door lads don't have a lot of say and stuff where it should be a lot of, we should have the most say. Until the Hive got involved, I really didn't know what a co-op was. And I think the co-op was definitely the way to go. When we applied to the Hive, they put things in place, stipulations and, and, and helped us develop the standards. But it just opens a multitude of doors for them. I mean, if I had this when I was younger, I could have gone so much further. I'm going to do the training that I can do and better myself. I don't want to work the doors forever. Like saying, all that music, now I'm sick of it now. I would like to go in a different direction. Now I've got a chance to, which I haven't had before. I think it's exciting and it's, it's going to change things for the better. And I think it's, it's about time. It's been a long time coming. Do you want to be a member? I do. <laughs>